Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm William Gwynn and I'll be talking about goals for the channel and regarding my reading as well as the plans regarding both of those. So this isn't going to be really strict stuff. It's just a few goals I have in mind that hopefully I can reach and a few plans as well that I can let you know of. And so yeah, it's just a few ways to try and focus my reading in ways that I want to alter it this year. And let's just get right on into it because I'm not really making much sense at the moment. So first up, my reading goal for 2023 will be to aim to read 100 books. I've read 107 books in 2022, so hopefully I can do the same, if not better, in 2023. And I'll be heading off to uni late in the year from October onwards, and I will be reading a lot, no surprise, as I'll be studying English and history a joint honours degree at Durham University. So yeah, of course, with those subjects, there's going to be a lot of reading going along with that. And I have no problem whatsoever with that. So yeah, I'll hopefully get a lot of reading done there and in the first three quarters of the year as well. So now getting into what I'll be reading, I of course read a lot of fantasy and that is most of the content I talk about on this channel and also on the Brothers Gwyn channel which I run with my brother Ed. But in 2023 I will want to spread my wings a bit more than I usually do. I do often read a lot of historical fiction and some classics as well but even further I'm going to read some more non-fiction hopefully in 2023 such as Margaret Macmillan's War How Conflict Shaped Us along to Stanislavski's books. He was a drama practitioner and I want to read his books on uh, An Actor Prepares I think is book one and it's about kind of crafting a character and his method acting process. He didn't call it method acting at the time I don't believe but that's what it's been come to be known. So yes yeah, some of that and also just a lot more non-fiction a lot perhaps about the ancient worlds. I hope to one day be a writer and one of the ideas for a book I've got which will probably just be a hobby and I'll write for fun um, is going to be inspired by the culture of kind of Rome, Carthage, ancient Greece, kind of a blend of them. So hopefully I'll read some books in non-fiction wise regarding some research in that arena. I've talked about on the channel before that one of the ways that I've avoided reading slumps is by reading a wide array of books. So as well as trying out some more non-fiction, I hope to get a bit more into crime because crime is probably most of what I watch, like crime dramas, that sort of thing. And so, yeah, I'd actually need to read more. I read Dissolution by CJ Sansom in 2022 and really enjoyed it. So I'll be continuing with that series, the Shard Lake series. I believe book two is called Dark Fire. And hopefully I'll also be trying out some Agatha Christy. So yeah, some more crime will be really interesting as well as trying out some more historical fiction and so on and so forth. This is an important goal. I aim to finish more series than I start in 2023 because the shelves really cannot cope with me buying so many books. And I'm one of those people who I often don't just buy book one. If I'm going to read a book, I often buy the whole series in advance. So the whole series is taking up my shelf and I've only read book one. And so I think I've got 42 ongoing series that that needs sorting out and so yeah one of the main goals for 2023 will be to finish more than I start so hopefully I can do that I think I've got February or March down as a month to wrap up series because there's quite a few three or four that I've only got one book left such as Sebastian de Castell's Spellslinger series and Bernard Cornwell's The Saxon Stories I mean I've read 12 books in that series and there's only one left so of course I need to wrap that up so now a bit more onto the plans for the channel. I hope to keep consistent to two to three videos a week throughout the entire year and then throw in some shorts amongst that as well. Please do, as always, let me know any videos you would like to see on the channel. Anything that I've talked about reading wise, uh, TV wise, anything such as that, any specific reviews you'd like to see, literally anything. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. I may be able to do a video solely based on that idea or I may be able to incorporate that into something else. But yes, please do let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate everyone who watches these videos and I want to make them as interesting to you as possible. I'm also planning in 2023 to have a few collaborations and chats uh, with other booktubers on here. So if there's a particular series that perhaps a wide section of uh, the people watching this video have read or would like to talk about or would like to do a read along of, I will try and organise a chat with some other booktubers and then we can have a conversation about it on this channel which will be very interesting. A lot of those, uh, I've done quite a few on the Brothers Gwyn one with my brother Ed, but I'll do books on here that 
Ed hasn't read as well. So yeah, there'll be opportunity for a few of those. And I'm hoping to plan some of that in 2023. I've not quite got what exactly what planned yet, but we'll get to that. And yeah, I hopefully I'll have a chat with a few other booktubers, as I said, and we'll have some interesting discussions on the channel. So in 2023, of course, the priority will remain my brother's Gwyn channel with my brother Ed. But also on here, I'm getting ready for uni game prep to go to Durham, as I said, and I hope to have some content which is focused on that preparation, my reading list what I'm doing to get ready and so on and so forth. So it will diverge slightly from kind of the subsection of uh, books that I'm talking about on this channel. So it will divulge slightly, but it's still obviously be in that booktube arena. And hopefully you enjoy the content I put about that. So a few months ago, I put a video on talking about my Oxbridge application process. So maybe a few more things like that. So kind of what my expectations for university are, why I chose to study English and history and so on and so forth. I mentioned wanting to do collaborations earlier in the video, so I need to hit on YouTube, you have to reach a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to be able to do live streams. So hopefully I can reach that goal. Well, I've already hit a thousand subscribers, which is crazy, didn't expect to do so so early on in this channel, but I've not hit the 4,000 watch hours yet, not even close to that. So hopefully I can hit that soon so we can do those live streams. I've not got a subscriber goal or, a uh, for 2023 it's just um uh, i'll be happy with as many people as possible i think we hit 5,000 followers very recently on the brothers grin it may have been about a month ago from when i put this video out but yes yeah, so i hit 5,000 on the brothers grin and as i said that's the main priority i cannot believe we hit that milestone and over on this channel nearly hit i think i'm on 1,400 as i'm recording this so fingers crossed can get a few more in 2023 but I'm really happy with the group of people I'm talking to. I've set this up to talk about books as much as possible and I'm really happy to be talking about that, those, everything that I'm talking about and more. I'm getting so many recommendations from viewers in the comments below. Thank you to everyone who leaves books below that they think that I may enjoy, that it seems similar to books that I've loved or even just chatting about the books that I've loved because that is one of the best things to really just geek out about a book, isn't it? And that's obviously why I've set this channel up and why I run The Brothers Grimm with my brother as well. So there we go, there are some rough goals and plans for 2023. No pressure about them all, I hope to read 100 books and so on and so forth, things like that. And I also just thought to let you know a few of my plans for, well, regarding this channel in 2023, such as the read-alongs, doing some more book reviews and keeping the content at two to three videos a week. So hopefully enjoy the content that is to come in 2023. Let me know what your goals and plans are regarding reading in the comments below, please. I'll be really happy to hear that. And then also talk about some of our favourite books together. Let me know if there's any series you'll be reading this year. And then if there's a common denominator and there's quite a few, um, maybe if a few people comment the same series, then I will try and read that as well and cover it on the channel. And as I said, maybe try and organise a read along or collaboration with some other booktubers. So yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to what I can do in the next year and all the books that are waiting for me to be waiting to be picked up by me. But everyone, thank you so much for watching and stay safe.